I'm not a doctor, I'm Swiss. Excuse me, can you tell me where the toilets are, please? Just go down the stairs. All right. Somebody's gonna slip. I remember my father saying to me, he said, son, always have something to fall back on. These are all full of sand. Well, what do you expect? Well, yeah, I know we're on the beach, but you could have wrapped them a bit better. No, no, what do you expect to find in your sand? Witches. <laughs> you know, sand witches. Sand witches. What do you expect to find in your sand? Yes, hey, 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 hey. I get it. Thanks. Yeah. Leave it out, Karen. You really put me off my suit. Why? It's cock -a leaky <laughs> Hey, lads. I've just been downloading music off the internet. Listen to this. Everybody's looking for that something. One thing makes it all. You find Now, the secret of public speaking. What is it? I'll tell you. Confident. Simply <laughs> fix your gaze on something. <laughs> then relax and remember. Always speak clearly, concisely, and with clarity the whole time. <laughs> so, I'd like to welcome you to... <laughs> Any questions? <sighs> what a total waste of money. What are you so grumpy about? I've just been all the way into town to buy this Polaroid camera and it doesn't work. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure, I'm not blind. Show it to me. Okay. Look at that, nothing. <laughs> Wasn't that the most superb meal? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Absolutely uh, divine. You know what I love? The crispy calamari, roasted tomato, and caramelized garlic soup. Mm. Oh. Superb. Mm. Mm. Do you know what I love? The prosciutto wrapped chicken with sea bass over fennel mash. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I love? Mm. Cabbage. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't drop the bowl. Don't worry, I won't. <laughs> Hello. Of course I can. What type are you looking for? Sorry? Didn't you just say, I'm interested in purchasing a car from your extensive range of automobiles? No, I didn't. But I am quite interested in... Oh, well, that's a good choice. £17,000, please. Well, hang on. I'd like to know a bit about the car first. Well, it's a car. It's a good car. Uh, I like it, and I think you should buy it. <laughs> right. Well, how big's the engine? Huge. <laughs> how big in litres? In litres? Even bigger. <laughs> and... It's red, so you are buying yourself a real fanny magnet. Thank you, pub. Um, cockatractor. What? No. I'm married with a family. You are indeed, that is correct, and that is why you need, madam, a car with doors for allowing the family in, but also for allowing them out of the vehicle. So, £17,000, that sounds good, yeah? What do you say? Uh, what about safety features? Oh, yes, safety features. It has uh, brakes fitted as standard onto the wheels to allow you to stop as standard. Windows throughout the vehicle, both front and back, for warmth and vision. That's optional. It has a steering wheel to allow you to turn and to get round the corners, and it's good. And I would go for that one. What do you say? Yeah, I think I might leave it. No, don't. Go on, it's good. Give us £17,000. No, I don't want it. All right, 12. <laughs> Great news! 
Jeez. Me and Barbara have had twins. <laughs> you sure it's twins, Lee? What do you mean, I'm sure? Do you remember last week when you said he'd bought two dogs and it turned out to be just one? Ah, yeah, but that was just a miscount. No, we're definitely having twins. I don't know, what you like you for? <laughs> And welcome to Middle Eastern Quandaries. Tonight we ask the question, Islamabad? <laughs> Jim, what are you doing with a futon on top of you? Futon? I thought it was a duvet. <laughs> well, it's a total mystery to me. Why would a man kill his whole family and then kill himself? What makes a man like that tick? Evening, boys. I'm the criminal psychologist. It's good to have you on board. Well, you've read the report. What do you think? Well, I've been in criminal psychology 15 years. Man kills his whole family and kills himself. He must have been upset or something. <laughs> That's me done. Afternoon. Hello. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes. Shh. Listen. Can you hear that? Can't hear a thing. Exactly. The sound of nothing. Not the sound of rush hour traffic or the hustle and bustle of inner city life. Just the sound of silence. And it's wonderful. Excuse me, can you turn round again, please? We're all lip readers. <laughs> I am totally smashed. 23 bottles is definitely my limit. Boy, am I glad you're driving. <laughs> Not me, I'm hammered. What? You promised you'd drive us all home? No way. It's all right, the Lee can drive. He's toe teetle. <laughs> all right, who's driving? <laughs> How come you've been drinking? Well, you're always saying to me, go on, Lee, give it a try. So I thought I would. Aren't you proud of me? Now we're all going to have to walk home. How far is it? I can't remember. I can't even remember how we got here. <gasps> Hang on, this is our house. We all live here. Oh, <laughs> oh well. I may as well put this back, then. <laughs> Anyway, how's married life? Um, well, it's all right, I suppose. All right? Don't tell me the romance has gone already. Oh, no, it's quite the opposite. He's too romantic. How can anybody be too romantic? Who's that special lady <laughs> over there? Who's that radiant woman with the beautiful hair? <laughs> You know, I come here often. <laughs> if you said I had a beautiful body, I would hold it against you. <laughs> hey, I think heaven's missing an angel, because I'm right here on Earth. <laughs> Do you know what would look really good on me? You. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you know how I like my eggs in the morning. And it's not sunny side up, is it? Oh, no, it's fertilised. And I'll tell you something else. Your face is leaving in five minutes and I'm gonna be on it. <laughs> Look, do you want me to buy you a drink or something? <laughs> That's original. <laughs> OK, darling, this is how we're gonna decide where we're going on holiday this year. I'm gonna stick a pin somewhere in this map, wherever it lands. That's where we're going. OK. Here we go. Siberia. Too cold. <laughs> Sahara Desert. OK, new rule. It's got to be somewhere that can sustain human life. <laughs> Skegness. Like I say, it's got to be somewhere that can sustain human life. The Indian Ocean. 
Yeah, OK, it's got to be possible to stand on it. <laughs> Canada. We've been there. China. No beaches. Portugal. I don't fancy that. France. Very predictable. Can I be honest? I want to go to Hawaii. So do I. Let's book it. <laughs> I've looked at the figures, and uh, I think we're going to have to make a lot of redundancies. It's the only way. Yeah, I know, yeah. Is everything all right here? Yeah? yeah, it's fine, thanks. Now, I was thinking if we put a memo up in the factory and say, I don't know, voluntary redundancies... Okay, that's a good idea. ...we could offer quite a good package. Yeah, you know. let everyone know, and then they can sort of decide... Absolutely. So you OK here? Yeah? yeah, yeah, it's fine, thanks. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe we could do that first thing tomorrow morning. We don't want to put any pressure on anybody. We don't want to feel that they have to go. Yeah. But at the same time, I think we should make it clear to... Can them. I get anything else at all? No, it's fine, thanks. Okay. We don't want to put any pressure on anybody. No. We'll just offer them a nice package deal. Is everything all right here? No, it's not. It's not? No. I'll have a word with Chef. No, it's not the food. Is it the music? I can change the music if you like. What about a bit of Christa Burke? No, the music's fine. It's you interrupting us. Oh. Right. Sorry, hey. do you want me to do that more often or less often? <laughs> less often! Right. One other thing, sorry. <laughs> The CD is coming to an end. We can go with what we got or change to Christa Berg. What would you like? I'll tell you what I'd like. I'd like to get one sentence out without you interrupting. It's all right, Lee. Right. Now, we put the memo up first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. We offer a deal between 15 and More wine, please. Don't badger me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, how are the wedding plans going? Well, the problem is we want different things. When she walks up the aisle, she wants a trumpet to play Masha Ria more. At the reception, she wants circular napkins and disposable cameras on every table. In the evening, she wants a 70s disco and for us to get taken at the hotel in a rickshaw. And what do you want? I want to call it off. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me? Have you seen my dog? He's about this big and his name's Buckles and it'll be all wet and muddy and smelly because he's been in the pond. No, I haven't seen him. Okay, good. He hasn't got out of the bag then. <laughs> Darling, you know the birdhouse we bought? Yes. Well, there's a bird nesting in it. <gasps> How exciting! Is it a blue tit? No. Nope. Is it a robin? No. Nope. Is it a sparrow? No. Nope. Look. <laughs> I'm bored stiff. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You're not actually bored stiff, are you? Hasn't actually made you go rigid, has it? Well, it's just a saying. Don't be so pedantic. All right, I'm bored. That's better. <laughs> I'm bored stupid. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm looking for a flight to Austria. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> no, nothing, sorry. What? Nothing at all, ever. Oh, ever? Thank your pardon, I'll check again for you, sir. Eh. Ver. <laughs> No, nothing ever. Sorry. I'm sorry, you don't actually seem to be able to... Ah, 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 ah. Excuse me. I'm fully trained in all aspects of keyboardage and monitorization -ness. I've been to special school, so if you could please sit back in your seat and make sure it's in the upright position, thanking you. Why don't you try calling the airline? Yes, I do know the emergency procedure. Hello, Tango Bravo. Come in, please. Foxtrot, whiskey, microwave, nonce. This is Alpha Lingo. Got your ears on? Come on. I'm looking for a flight to Austria. I'll spell that for you. Austria. A for Austria. U for Lufa. S for Ness. For T for two. R for Daily. I for Pi for A for Austria. Did you get that? Come on back. Look, can I just ask what the heck you did? Ah! Badger Zero, finger puppet, mayday, mayday. I have trouble some passenger. Repeat, require urgent assistance. Urgent assistance. Look, can I just ask... Oh!
done. Yeah. And what are you doing, Jim? I'm making a violin. It's not a violin. It is. I'm crap at metric. <laughs> and so, ladies and gentlemen, I declare the new headquarters of the Voyeurism Society open. <laughs> Glasses? But can you go away, please? I can't believe you don't want to dance with me. Really? Why not? Well, I looked around the room, saw you, thought, I'll ask him, he's not going to be choosy. <laughs> really? Why not? Well, have a look at yourself. You're not much in the looks department. Really? Why not? Oh, uh, you're spotty, bit weedy, very pasty. Pretty unappealing, really. Really? Hey! I always thought I was quite good looking. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Do you want to dance? Eh. <laughs> I'll see your 10 raise you 20. I'll see your 20 raise you 50. I'll raise you a thousand. I'll see you. Pair of kings. Flush. saying that joining Wigs Anonymous can actually help people? Yes, of course. All you have to do is admit to yourself that you wear a wig. Do you think you can do that? Oh, sorry, you misunderstand. It's not for me. I'm asking on behalf of a friend of mine. <laughs> Hello, Pet. Oh, don't call me Pet. Why not? It's all northern. Like you own me or something. Hello, baby. Oh, that's inappropriate. I'm not helpless. You don't look after me. Hello, chicken. I'm hardly your equal if you call me a chicken. Big chicken. No. Captain chicken. No. Cock. No. no. Treacle. Hello, treacle. That makes me sound like some fat, sticky tart. Hello, honey. Uh, that's another one of your fat, sticky northern tart references. Pumpkin. I'm not a vegetable. Angel. I'm not dead. Button. Don't like it. Sweet pea. Old fashioned. MC Sweet Pea. What? <laughs> MC Sweet Pea and the treacle tarts. Look, why can't you just call me by my real name? I can't. Why not? Because it's Minge. <laughs> you are genetic perfection. The bone structure, the eyes, the skin, everything about you is vital. Your girl next door meets English Rose with just a hint of vixen. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a talent agent from a top supermodels agency, and I just know you're going to be this year's face. I need you in Paris for tomorrow for the Yamamoto show. You're going to be huge. Get used to it. Really? No. Can I have a cheese pasty, please? <laughs> It's Tim to serve. Right, here we go. Oh, nice. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Right, I point of Kitty and Lee. <laughs> Sorry about that, darling. That was a bit ordinary. Never mind. You know what they say. What you lose out on the swing ball, you make up on the roundabouts. What? What's going <laughs> I don't on? Know. I think I'm a bit tipsy. Yeah, all, right. Yeah, all right, come on. Right. Umpire, whose serve is it? Uh, Lee to serve. Right, here we go. Watch this. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Your serve again, Lee. <laughs> Go on. All right, are you ready? Yeah. 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 Wait. Oh, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I don't believe it. Damn it. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Hi, Tio. Um, what's the score then, Jim Rooney? Um, sure, I lost track there. I think it's seven, five, three. Five, three? My f***ing ass. It's seven, one to us. Kelly, it's your serve. Well, it's Karen, actually, but never mind. Right, come here. Are you ready for this, Lee? Yeah. <laughs> sure. oh, f Lee, what the f*** was that? Sorry, darling. Sorry? You're f***ing sorry? Oh, for f***'s sake! Why don't we all call it a day and go sit down and have a drink? Oh, f*** off. <laughs> this is where f winning, is that it? Right, my serve. Let's go. My green dog, Lee, get up and keep your fat head out of my way, you Sorry. Careful now, someone's going to get fined for racket abuse. Yeah, not to mention the verbal abuse. Amateur f oh. Oh. This is she amazing. I think I really love her. 